The letter came from John Runyon. It went to each organization and each player. And essentially, the league says that each player hit players in defenseless positions. There's a theme here that the league is trying to crack down on. They want to send a message as hard as it, they possibly can that it's not going to accept hits to defenseless players, particularly to the head area. It doesn't accept the unsportsmanlike conduct behavior of Juju Smith-Schuster in last night's game as well. But again, there's been a disturbing pattern of behavior here dating back all season long, the last few weeks, where players have been out of control. The league has not gotten its message across. And so it continues to send out suspensions that affect the teams, that hit the players in the wallet. There's a lot of money that's lost. The players lose opportunities. The teams lose key players when they're trying to secure playoff positions. And I think the league is trying to make sure that players understand that in instances like this, where there are hits like this, that there are going to be consequences to pay. Adam, thank you. You know, I, I would ask this, though, for argument's sake. It, is the league really trying to do that? To me, they're almost like they're a little bit afraid to go here's past what they're the doing. game. I'm to, telling you exactly. Like we don't. We want to make a statement, but we don't want to make anybody too here, here's upset. Here's what they're doing. They're, they're, they're disciplining on the net result. And what I mean by that is this. When Devontae Adams got by, hit by Danny Trevathan and was knocked out and, was, and it was ugly and he had to be taken off the field, mm -hmm. they suspended Danny Trevathan because what happened was it looked really bad right. for Devontae mm -hmm. Adams. Because of what happened last night looking really bad, they now are doing – they, they are – are and we're disciplining about it. on mm -hmm. the net yes on the net result of it which is a really really dangerous place to be no I question and you know what to take it one more step further if Tredavious White gets hurt yep. he's already yeah, in the concussion, he's in the concussion. Yeah. He is. but let's so just say this, this. Is my point. let's just say that he has to go to the hospital and or he loses feeling you think Gronk would get suspended just one game and look I, you know we said this yesterday good people do bad things I, I I think the world of Gronkowski I don't think he's a dirty player I don't but he but he did make a pretty it's, poor decision and see here's the thing for me here's the and we here, do have to here's pretty much yeah, the not you know, I don't want to say irony but here is here is the problem and the dilemma for me again I grew up liking the brutality of the game and liked playing it that way and didn't it didn't want anybody to feel sorry for me if I got it, and look, I got hit that way and hit in the head on special teams where some of the most high-impact collisions happen, wiped out. But I've evolved. I understand the long-term ramifications of playing the game that way and how it can affect your life, how it can affect your children's lives. Your, your, I, I understand that. But the league right now, if you want to change the game while still, still keeping the game at its base the same, if you want to start disciplining people, you better come up with a better way of being consistent about this because when you do this where it looks exactly like Tim said, when you're disciplining off the net result and it looks like you're being reactionary, like let's take the temperature, let's see what people yeah, are saying are about be, this. If we, if we are they going to be mad? Yeah. Let's hit them. The, if they're not going to be mad, mm, like you, here's a fine. You, you can't do that.